Hey everybody, welcome back to Spike Speed Shop. We are back in for the next part of a Corvette build that's happening. It's gonna be kind of a wide body setup, but uh, everything's been painted up, cleaned up. We got a little bit of footage there for you to check out, but uh, it's gonna be exciting. I want you guys to pay attention to it. Let's check it out right now. As you can see here, we're back again with Alan Harris and AggressiveDesigns.net. And what we have here is an exclusive wide body install, 2014 Corvette Stingray. As you can see, we've already mocked up the quarter panels for fitment and color, um, color coordination, so to speak, to make sure we're good and don't have to spot blend anything else. Um, and today you're going to see us assemble the whole kit, tinted tail lights, reflectors, all, and then drive it out the door. Stay tuned. I got the wrong side. This is the ah. other side. <laughs> but I took it off this quarter, so I'm not. You, know, you said it on the wrong piece. <laughs> now that we've demonstrated how to take off the left side. Right. Now so, we know. Uh, <laughs> we'll go take off the right side. Side. This is the left side. Okay, correct side. Uh, very smart. <laughs> do you have two? Do you have two right sides? This one says left hand on it. it says. Oh, you know what? Well, maybe there's. Oh, maybe these are. Maybe they come with new ones. You know what? Well, it's a wide body kit, so these are probably not used. Now that we've demonstrated how to take off the factory non Z06 <laughs> quarter clips, we're going to actually open the new bag of ACS composite wide body clips. You mean the right ones? <laughs> the right ones. They'd had the forethought. I guess they really were one time used. We actually didn't. We weren't as bad as we thought. I think we didn't. I think we only think we broke all of them. I think we broke every single one of them. Oh, maybe we did break I think one we, of them. I think we. I think we gave up. Salvaged one. Hey, well, knowing is half the battle. Is it too early? No, it's not. I don't Perfect. think so. <laughs> and if it, if it is too early, it'll be early enough shortly. The funny thing, what I actually use this for is the convex bottom. It magnifies the mixture that's thrown underneath. So when I dump out carburetors and I need to show people why maintenance and winterizing their vehicles is important, all the little floaty stuff in the sand goes down to the bottom and then I get to tell them nice. and send it to them on video. <laughs> So the big trick with these is that with this right here, they won't fit some of the bigger tires on it because they're tighter, but with the new wide body kit, it's going to add an inch and a half to pretty much either side, and that's going to be enough to put, what is it, 335s? So 335s on it, so she's going to look pretty nice when it's done. I can't wait to see it. Hi, buddy. Uh, the one we can't even use, mouth it. I don't know, but that one says Z06 on it, so I'm going to assume they're different. Well, what? it's probably the curvature of the body. Is oh, maybe. Well, I thought, I didn't know if you had tried the new, uh, the one we already painted. Not yet. Yeah, I don't even have that whole assembly in the quarter yet. Okay. But I figured we enjoyed painting it the last two times Oh, we enjoyed so painting it so much. That, why not paint it one more time? 
<laughs> Sounds like a fantastic idea. Yeah, I don't know how this one goes on though. That's the... Yeah, it's bigger, right? Yeah, just by a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Well, have fun, Peyton. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> hey, but that other one looks really good. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Because <laughs> it was painted with the rest of the car. <laughs> you know? Too funny. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it, it fit, but it just looks a little bit smaller. Sorry. It's okay. Part of the job. Okay, so what are you doing now? Uh, I'm hooking up the car's amplifier. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm running the rear body wiring harness through the rear bumper. So you and, took the old one off the old bumper? Absolutely. And then put putting everything back into the new one exactly where it came? Yes. <laughs> now when you do this, you gotta make sure you're focused, not talking to anyone, have no distractions around, and it should go nice and smoothly. So how was your day? What are you doing? You didn't do it right over here. You dropped that. <laughs> Doesn't pay attention. Come on, pick that up. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't have skipped Lego day at school. Yeah, I feel like I'm monkey in football right now. This is left hand, right? Like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna take the wheels off. <laughs> now, did this have the ducting from the factory, or did, did not? We had to hand cut all this. So this is all added. All added on. All part of that new system. Because why just do appearance when you can make functional? Exactly. Listen, what did the mollusk say to the sea cucumber? <laughs> what? Who needs friends when you have an enemies like that? Oh, oh god. god. Phil's back. I want to introduce everybody to Phil. Phil? You may not see him very often, how but that's was, Phil. How long was he gone? I don't know, two hours and 13 minutes. <laughs> see, he says he doesn't know, but he knows. <laughs> it doesn't surprise I know. me. I yeah, we missed you. <laughs> <laughs> That's carbon fiber. Come on. Fiber. It's carbon I'm gonna make it easier. That's what a whale does. <laughs> well, I thought we were flipping, that's why I was like, Okay, well, maybe you can fucking tell me these Stop things. Stop yelling at me. Stop harassing me. Why? Why? No yelling in the shop! <laughs> I can do that because I'm not inside! <laughs> There. All right. Oh, it slides in. Okay. Yeah, let's see. It's that simple. Yeah. Welcome to the world of Phil. 
you know there's a little a creeper right there. There's a creeper right behind you. <laughs> I know, it was in my way, I had to move it. <laughs> Basically what these are going to do is going to take that nice fresh air and going to dump it right on the back of our hub and brake assembly to not only make it aesthetically pleasing but mechanically pleasing as well. Okay, so we're coming close to the end of the day here. Yeah. The test fits look good. Uh, some of the stuff, this is where I tell people all the time, if you're gonna do something, have a professional put it in because a lot of the stuff that was in the instruction book does not match exactly how things went together. So it was a lot of little creative things we had to do to get even bolts to fit. So all that stuff's been overcome at this point. We're at the point now where things are gonna try to go together and see what we got. Uh, so wish us luck. So am I right in saying it is a new day here at Spike's Bean Shop? Uh, yes, it is a new day. And, we, and finishing up the wide body Corvette. Making it look perfect. And breaking stuff. Okay, this stuff is legit like, I wanna say it's like 1960s, 70s style oil. I'm thinking if you guys are interested in seeing us test this, let us know in the comments or someplace. Just keep in touch with us, let us know. I would love to do some sort of testing thing to this to see what uh, it could do or you know, basically how it would work today. Basically new cars, like the way oil today is totally different from the way it was then. So be interesting to compare notes. right in cleans up nice too <laughs> so these were actually smoked in-house by our, the, the team here at spikes and I think they look really good brings like a certain pop to it with the dark colors and the dark variations there it's really kind of a shiny little setup right here I like how it's working so the best part about this is we're still using DOT factory OE regulated lenses some people are worried about the clarity the brightness well, usually what we do, if they're not already factory LED amplified, we'll instead of install a set of upgraded LED light fixtures inside. So there's really no after effect. Obviously safety is our number one concern here next to aesthetics, but if we can increase the brightness and increase the aesthetics appeal of the car, that's always our goal. Welcome to Spike Speed Shop once again for our, our final portion of the Corvette wide body install. Now with all wide body kits, ground effects kits, or body work in general, we ran into a few issues with this one. We had some shaving, some modification to do, and not to mention this specific client threw some curveballs at us to do some additional add-ons towards the end of the process. But all in all, I think she came out excellent. I think you guys are going to really enjoy what you're seeing. All right, 
just wanted to go over a couple instances in this that we really want to highlight here. Now, when you're, if you decide to install this on your own, it's totally something doable at home in your garage. Definitely get it painted by a professional, preferably painted pieces off. But if you were to have some of this at home, this bracket, which actually goes alongside the quarter here, is adjustable. Very little bit, but just enough to make sure that your rear fascia in your quarter panel will line up key. It also has on it these little orange clips, as you see here. They may look like one-time use clips. You may try to take them off, not knowing. They will pop right off as soon as everything is disconnected and all your hardware is out of the quarter panel. It'll pop right off, safe to reuse again. One more thing I wanted to point out. These rear scoops that we now made functional with this kit, which totally activates the N51 option that it offered from the factory for the rear brake ducting, they are not all created equal. There will be minor to moderate shaving needed to make this quarter panel line up with this, rear mold, this lower molding here. Pay attention to it, especially on assembly, to make sure she has a seamless install and make sure you paint it afterwards. So I don't know about you, but I am really excited about how this turned out. I mean, the natural lines of this car are incredible to start with. And this really does take, I want to say the naturalized look of the Corvette and takes it to a new level is I don't think the manufacturers thought about, right? No, I definitely don't. Think so. Yeah. So, I mean, so if you have a Corvette like this, this is something that Spike Speed Shop can do. It, it makes certain things about this car functional. It makes it, the wheel wells, the arches, everything about it. It gives it a new look to it. Uh, one thing I like about cars is when you do something aftermarket and you make it, you do something aftermarket and it still looks stock. You know what I mean? Like it's just yeah. so clean. And that's something that you really pulled out of this car, which I think is incredible. Well, personally, I've always, my personal uh, view of modifications unless you're going to go mild to wild and something really off the charts and something really one off is making things look like myself or the client uh, may have a shared view of what it should have came from the factory as so subtle but yet so bold of a performance modification or a external modification that it will just it will you'll definitely know it's been altered but at the same time, it just looks right on the car. And this is definitely a perfect example of one of those cars right there. It's something I've always personally done. Uh, this client was nice enough to let me kind of run with a couple things on this. And I said, just trust me, you'll you'll like it when it's done. I, I know what you're trying to do here. Just let me do what I do. And, and he went out on a branch first time client. And I think he's going to be really excited about it. Yeah. And that's the thing is, is this is not going to be the last uh, project that we cover from these guys. This is kind of, I want to say, this is kind of the mundane one. Yeah, this well, is kind of like, this is like a, oh, it's just coming in for a wide body kit and some carbon fiber parts yeah. and that. It's like entry level stuff. Some entry level <laughs> stuff, you know. There's actually a car right behind Alan right now that just got dropped off for a full air ride install and roll and custom wheel package. So and yet another just, another service right. that we offer that just comes in, you know, and it's just like, hey guys, we got another air ride kit here, or we have another Hotchkiss suspension or TBS install or engine swap, or it's really just, the, the norm that we where we call normal day here is just very weird. People are like, yeah. wait, you did what? Like, right. oh yeah, we just had this 37 in our, you yeah. know, we just, you know. We, <laughs> all, all you have to do is look in the background of a lot of the shots that we have to kind of figure out what's kind of next on the board. And whatever it is, I can guarantee it's going to be crazy. So you guys keep, uh, keep ahead of the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, now is the time. We're going to keep doing shows like this. We're going to give little project things. This is going to be the big one right now to kind of cover a big whole thing. We're going to try to split it up in the future to kind of give you more uh, things as they go along and give you an idea of what it's like to be over here at Spike Speed Shop. And I'm just going to say from my personal experience, this is kind of my first real week of kind of hanging out and uh and it was a blast this was a really quick project it was a lot of fun and this team is a really great group to be around if you, if you haven't been here yet come down say hi and we'll see you guys on the flip side so what do you it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be we're, we're you can always find us or more information about us on our live chat at spike speed chopped up is and we also have some merch on there for sale, stuff like that. If you ever have any ideas of what Alan or I can put together or one of us individually, definitely please subscribe to both channels, Spike Speed Shop, YouTube channel, aggressivedesigns.net. Let us know in the comments. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you'd like to see us do together or individually. Um, you know, we're here for you. We're here to support the community and the movement. And we want to know what you want to see. Like, that's what makes our job fun. You know, we have fun doing what we do. And if we can cater to some of the requests out there, that's what it's all about. So you heard of here first, guys. More insanity to come. Talk to you guys soon and have a great day. Bye.